Welcome to Questions and Answers of the Grease 2023 video playlist. Let me explain why I'm starting off this way. Because what I showed at the very beginning, checking into my room at Amorgos, that was a that was a three-scene, two-part transition that failed, right? Because I was to check into the room, I was supposed to fall back on the bed, and then I took the drone outside to do an aerial shot. This was the final island of this entire trip. The wind on the island of Amorgos this year was out of control so much that I crashed and broke the drone. Yeah, on day one. So yes, I broke the drone on this trip. Good news is at least I have it. Didn't crash on a mountain. <laughs> Didn't crash in the ocean like other years. We have it. Why don't we go inside and finish this questions and answers? What do you think, huh? You'll be a good boy? Yeah, you'll be a good boy. Okay, come on, let's go inside. All right, welcome back to the channel. Recently, I had the most incredible three-week adventure exploring the Greek islands. But in tradition to past trips, we are spicing the videos up a little bit with my traditional questions and answers. Woo-woo! Okay, hold on, bear with me. We'll have, okay, we'll let all this be the information here. On my Instagram page, I asked followers to ask me a question. I'm gonna be answering these questions and sharing footage from my incredible journey. And meatballs involved, because he is not going to be ignored any longer, right? Hi there, baby. Thank you, poo -poo. All right, loyal follower Marietta asks, would you ever consider moving to Greece part-time or full-time? And with Meatball, of course, well, meatball, Meatball's not going to Greece. I'd absolutely consider it. I don't think I can afford it. It would come with a lot of complications. So if anybody has an idea how to make that happen, well, sure, I would work. Yeah, I'm a dime a dozen here. I feel like I would have something valuable to provide there. I don't know what that is, but I guess the answer is no. <laughs> Favorite location from this trip, and do you intend adding banana to your pastries at home? I don't really have pastries at home. I have a traditional New Year. You know what? You're right. Yeah, I bet I can do that. I bet I can add banana cream to the New Year's uh, thing. But you, the main question was your favorite location from this trip. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say the New Island. Okay, God. You're gonna tell me this day is gonna get better. Okay. I did not see this coming today. Wow, what a view. Whether I knew it or not, it's what I needed. What is your favorite part of the trip? <sighs> Connecting with animals. Look up, let's look at my neighbors. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, look at you. Hello. What is happening? Hello, everybody. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. What is happening? <laughs> what a group. Yeah, what is it? A what? You're, you're you're in no, I'm just visiting from from Florida, you in America. Yeah. Oh no, you can't. You can't follow me. No, I'll go get you something. You can't follow me. You gotta stay down there. In the back of my scooter, there's dog food, cat food, uh, carrots, apples. So finding a stray dog is not as easy as it used to be years ago. I guess that's a good thing. Um, I'm gonna say that, animals. Amy asks, will you retire to Greece one day? I would not know how to make that happen. Am I gonna retire in Greece? Eh, probably not, probably not. Yeah, I don't think I could afford to, and I'm not even sure if I'm gonna retire ever. You shared a video every day of your vacation. When do you sleep? Thank you for noticing that. Thank you for noticing that. That is a working vacation that I commit for creative content. I'll go out during the day and it is sunrise to sunset. And then as if 
I'm getting paid as if somebody's expecting it, as if I have a larger channel or a larger audience. I definitely commit to a creative holiday. All right, same person, different Christian. Why isn't your YouTube channel more popular? Number one, I don't think I'm everybody's cup of tea. These are video diaries. I think some stand alone, but maybe that. Older, I'm not sure. But I've done this for years, and whether one person watches or a thousand, I think that I pr I'm going to do it regardless. So it doesn't seem like I'm chasing numbers. I break the third wall by speaking, but you're not supposed to talk about the mechanics of it. I'm not supposed to be looking at the meter. I'm not supposed to be sitting up for reviews. Post and goes, post and goes, get out of here. So when I deliver, when I deliver a Spielberg-like shot, and you would think John Williams is scoring it as, as my travel partner, when somebody writes, I miss meatball, oh my God, what? <laughs> what, you miss, that's what you, that's your comment? I think my battle cry and my badge of honor has always been <laughs> that I wasn't accepted, so. For the, for the tiny audience that I have, the loyal people who watch and follow, and for those who bought me a, a uh, double espresso and a croissant, a genuine, straight from the heart, cheers. Thank you. It definitely would be nice. I think there's advantages by having a larger subscription base. I'm the greatest, I'm the greatest YouTube channel nobody watches. I do. That's the other thing. I'm talking to the people who do. I don't know how to talk to the people who don't. What is the most memorable moment of your last trip? Okay, it was when everything got canceled. 826, we're starting a brand new type of vacation. Just land on the spot and figure it out. I know. Yeah, I've been there many times, but it looked like the weather is more predictable south. But you lost the ticket if you change. I, no, I think I can go anywhere because they canceled me. Ah, it's open now. Yeah. It looks like I'm going to Santorini. Santorini at 11? It's 10 o'clock. Got everything got canceled. And here's the deal. You know they took my luggage, right? When they took my luggage, it made me not mobile. In the past, I have landed in Athens, got on the bus, uh, went up uh, to Volos. That's about a four hour bus ride away without the context that the north had flooded. If I had my bag, oh, I would have messed everything up. So I'm going to say when everything went kablooey, kablooey is my favorite part of the trip. You're a wiggle worm. You're a wiggle worm. Will you incorporate any of your new experiences into your future trips? Don't fly the drone when it's super windy. I'm gonna incorporate that. Ah, oh, don't be afraid of a new island. Man, that was fantastic. What's in the Greek dish moussaka? From amosypes.com, layers of sliced eggplant are baked in a ground beef sauce and smothered in a creamy white bechamel sauce in this classic Greek dish. Yeah, I'm not gonna have it with beef. Which island was your favorite on this? Which island was your favorite on this trip? Get ready. Get ready, it doesn't, it makes zero sense. And it's not why everybody else, but I love Santorini. Ah, I love Santorini. I love being over there on the Camari side. I love the memories I have there. I love that it's this commercial beast that I know how to tame. Viewing your vacation videos was awesome. What was your favorite part of the trip? Oh, I feel like we danced around this. What's my favorite part of the trip? Oh, I, okay, I love being alone. I love solitary confinement. I love that I wasn't a dog dad. I love that I'm not running a business. I love that I'm not worried about my grass or the mortgage. I've said this before, years and years ago, I had to take this trip by myself by default. And it turned out to be so magnificent, I don't want to do anything else. Sir, your skating skills are sick. Thank you. Man. 
It's all I wanted to do this morning. Thank you. It used to be a lot better. Um, one Christmas, my mother and father gave me a $39, $49 pair of skates from Target. I opened one Christmas morning, they had hit the other. I took them outside. Um, I looked very shaky. Eventually I fell underneath of a car, but I kept practicing and I got better. I grew up on skates. Yeah, I got better. So now that in my 30s, woof, I am spinning like Dorothy Hamill. I, I traveled with my skates. I took them everywhere. I took them to New York City. It's chewed on. So, I'm gonna do a practice run and then let's see, let's see if we can film this baby. I took him to Washington, D.C. This is the Lincoln Memorial. And um, I took my skates off because I think Abe would have liked it that way. Always Miami. And then one day, I put them away. Uh, and now, 30 years later, it was nice to be that guy again. Uh, do you ever want to take Meatball? Never. Meatball's never going with me. I am not jumping off a cliff with the dog. I'm not tying up him up while I go some... Never. He's not coming. When I finish the U-Haul, Meatball and I take her on a trip. Did discovering a new island, Flegendros, want you make you want to discover more? Absolutely. Hi, Tony, what gift did you receive from the Emirates crew? Well, everything went to my puppy sitter. At the end, they gave me some chocolate. But Meatball, oh, look what Meatball got. And you know what's nice? He likes it. He's got this little ramp in the bed, and at night, he'll come running up with this, and he holds it by the Velcro thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, Meatball, that was very sweet that she came around. Just letting you know that we watch your videos at the City of Hope Chemo Center. Oof. <laughs> Haven't they been through enough? That is awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's nice. Nice. I don't I don't know if this face should be seen on the big screen, but okay. Hopefully my silliness can bring some joy. So that's awesome. Thank you. If you weren't going to Greece or Paris, where would you go? I would like to go to Germany for a Christmas market. That will never happen because of the way that I work through December. And I just got back. This is an interesting. Thank you, Kristen. Do you ever worry about hiking the trails alone? I've never, it has never crossed my mind. Is there something I should worry about? I've never thought about that. Is this the path? <laughs> Are we talking about snakes or me getting hurt or falling off the cliff? The serial killer? No. A serial killer is typically a person who murders three or more people with okay. the murders taking place over more Do than a month, okay. and including a... Okay. No. The answer is no. So I guess Skiathos was canceled this year. Yes, it was. This is what Skiathos look like. If I were there, I would have paid anything to leave. So whatever money I lost, uh, Scopolos, Skiathos, there will be another time. Phoenix Piper, we enjoy your videos so much. Thank you so much. Tell a friend, tell somebody, write somebody, write the Travel Channel. Hey, do you know about this guy? I, I could use some PR. All right, very good. Well, thank you so much for joining me on my incredible vacation to the Greek islands this year, 2023, and sending in your fantastic questions. Hope I was able to give you a glimpse into the beauty and the culture and the experiences that I had this year on vacation. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more travel, then go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share, talk, Whatever you can do. And always remember, there's a notification bell up there that if you hit that, you'll know when a new video has been uploaded. And as always, keep exploring, keep traveling, keep sharing your love for this beautiful world. And I'm gonna see you in my next adventure. <laughs>